this happened a really long time ago. There was a woman called Elizabeth James and she was 37 years old. She was married, but she also had a lover. One day she went to meet the lover, unawares that her husband was following her. Full of rage, the husband picked up a rot and brought it down upon her head. Um, but the newspaper reports that she was killed in her home with a knife. Oh, oh man, maybe I got them mixed up. But there really was an Elizabeth James, and the inquest on her body was carried out in La Trobe Street East. It's been a morgue there for many years. It's not really noticeable during the day, but it definitely becomes noticeable at night time. It used to be used for the, by the old Melbourne jail for the prisoners. And during the Spanish flu epidemic, it was used to house the bodies of those who died of the sickness. Today it's used by RMIT for administrative purposes. There have been other morgues in the city. In fact, the morgues have changed location four times. But perhaps the most controversial one was the one on the corner of Swanston Street and Flinders Street. The location of that morgue happens to be where the visitor centre in Federation Square stands today. Not many people about it, not even the staff know about it. I've asked a few and they had no idea that they are working on the site of a former morgue. A site near the Princess Bridge was considered because it was the most appropriate, being near the wharf and the police station, and also because bodies were being pulled out of the Yarra River on a regular basis. There are obviously no more traces of the morgue. It was only operated between 1871 and 1883 when it moved to Coles Wharf, which is a bit further down the river, opposite William Street. There is, however, another morgue. It is located in the beautiful seaside suburb of Williamstown, just outside the city. Behind the unassuming facade of the Williamstown morgue, some pretty gruesome things used to happen. For example, bodies were hung on hooks so that the rats couldn't get at them. Well, they were also hung up so that the autopsy wastes would drain away and be washed away by the tide. There were hygiene problems and general neglect. Prior to 1859, autopsies were carried out in pub cellars and sometimes in the bars. In the city, they were carried out in hotels. We were unable to access the interior of the morgue because the locks had been changed without giving notice to the other members of the historical society. There it is there. Yes. The windows with wire netting. Okay. And the door is the original door, and that's the original door. But there's oh, nothing. The original door. Yeah, there's nothing inside. I can assure you. You need to figure out something. Yeah. That is a strong lock. I could not pick it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could pick little locks, but not big ones. Okay. This is why people don't know much about their history in this country, because uh -huh. people won't let people into morgues. <laughs> And other spooky places. I was looking forward to getting in there and got tape recorders and taking photos. Yeah. <laughs> looking for spooky stuff. Yeah. We found that we couldn't get in due to the changed locks. We tried everything we could to get in, but there was no way that we could even take photos of the inside. It was completely locked up. The Williamstown morgue is enclosed by its current surroundings tucked away in plain sight. It's almost surreal thinking about how it was 150 years old. I think that people should be allowed in morgues. I think they can tell us a lot about issues in the past and how people used to feel about any number of things. So these morgues go undiscovered. It's almost like the history of morgues in Melbourne is dying out. The bluestone walls of the morgue are strong, but it exists in such a wasteland. People do like to live in Williamstown, and in fact, it's quite expensive to live around here. But there's not much life to be seen around here, even during the day. 
It doesn't feel that particularly welcoming, especially in the vicinity of the morgue, but I suppose that's to be expected. Time seems to stand quite still around here, and maybe that's what makes it feel so attractive, the feeling that we can travel back in time. Furthermore, perhaps it's the feeling that these places feel so dark and unfriendly that makes them worthy of exploring, right? <laughs>